Okay, Sean with CDE Animal Cages. And today we have a pair of matching cages and these are actually stackables. The nice thing about stackables is they can be on their own or they can stack. So we'll show you that in a minute. But there's a few different options here that I wanted to go over as well that uh, encompass this whole cool cage. So the cage itself is 30 and a quarter inches high. 24 and a quarter inches wide and 24 and a quarter inches deep. Um, this customer has the combo lock, so there's three numbered combo lock here. Um, they did the rotating feeder, the two bowl feeder. Um, they have the aluminum frame, the one by one PVC bonded wire. They also have another little door um, for access um, to the animals and or water apparatus and this also has a combo lock. This cage is on uh, a tray stand so you have your tray with your wire floor beneath and they went with a 14 inch high enclosed stand that has a floor and the door on it. So that has access to put all of your animal care products heavy duty casters. Um, so again, on their own, they're great. Um, and then when we stack them, we'll use, um, we call plugs and they're very secure and they'll go, one of these cages we'll show you has spots on the top to put these. And I'm putting white on just so that you can see where they're at. But these same pieces are used to connect the cage to the tray stand and the tray stand to the stand um, and with that you can see how everything's locked in with these um, but to put the other cage on you'd put those on and then we're going to separate this cage with the tray stand and we'll put those on top of here okay so ben and i are going to remove this cage and the tray stand to put on top of this one that's how they're stackable now this cage is going to be quite tall and the customer may be fine with that. If it was me, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd remove this. I'd put the casters in the tray stand and that would lower it 14 inches and everything will be good. But I still want you to see, and this may be the exact setup the customer wants. There's multiple variables that can be changed on this situation. All right, so Ben and I will remove these. I use just a gasket remover. You can use a screwdriver. Um, whatever, but you want to be able to get in here. Like I said, they're kind of a tight fit. Like I said, tight fit, but good and neat. I'll show this part, <coughs> excuse me. Now, you can see this is on top and how they're the stackable. I think the top unit's called A and the bottom is B or it may be the other way around, but it's, you got units A and B to stack. <coughs> now, excuse me, one other quick thing is on, on these plugs, you can see how sometimes it, it won't just fall right into place and it's just the angle of that and you can use your screwdriver to move it around or sometimes you can just use a mallet to tap it on the top but you want this a tight snug fit so that it really keeps everything together but this just shows you what the stackable units would be like